Hello, my name's Ruth. I'm a HCA. When I was growing up, I wanted to be a nurse. I went to college and did a nursing qualification to get me into, into the nursing. However, at the time, it was difficult um, because I didn't have the full qualifications that you needed to be um, an SRN and uh, um, even an enrolled nurse. So I went on and I thought, what else can I do? So I worked with a family with looking after their children. So after that, I applied for a job in a nursing home and I looked after elderly people, which I absolutely loved. Um, but I was still only 26 by that time and it was, it was still quite quite a challenge working with other people. After several years of just working within that role, I then went, I went on to work for an agency uh, which enabled me to get into being a healthcare assistant, um, which I did in a, in a local acute trust. So after that, I then, I then went to work with people with learning disabilities. Um, I, I, initially, I worked with one man on his own who had all sorts of complex needs. And then I went on to work with six adults with various complex physical and neurodiverse needs. Um, and then, I got, I saw the job advertised for a healthcare assistant at, at, with Tuve and I thought, that's a job for me, that. So I applied for the job, I went for the interview and here I am. I'm a HCA and this stands for healthcare assistant. So what HCA would do is support the nursing team, the clinical team, and the patients. And you've actually got a very, very responsible job. There's a lot of HCAs within the health service, and I think about 60% of the health service is made up by HCA um, staff, which we obviously clearly are wanted in the in the profession. We can support the nursing staff with patients' personal care. We can support the nursing staff with patients' um, contact with their families, um, contact with their, their friends and making sure they're, they're, they're achieving what they, what they need to achieve. The best part of my job is, is making a difference to people's lives, to helping them to move on, to helping them recover from their illness. And it's, it's one of those areas where you might be scared that you think you might do something wrong, but you're well supported within, the, within your team. And the, the team will recognise your strengths and your weaknesses. They're able to, to nurture that person within that service and it's, it can be quite an interesting role. I work in Rosby Park. I work in Ridgeway, which is part of the Secure Inpatient Service. And my current role is working in the Forensic uh, Mental Health which is quite interesting because of the because of the reasons why people have got to where they are today. The advice I have for, that I can offer to anybody 
who's thinking about taking up this career is don't listen to what other people tell you about how bad it is or how good it is. You come and try it for yourself. The trust values are all very important to me. The compassion that I, I, I feel that when I'm caring for a patient, I need, I need to help them to move, to move on and I, I need them to help so that they can live their best life. The respect I've got for the way that they've come into the service and they've had to, they've had to, to adapt the way of thinking and, um, and they also have great responsibility um, for ensuring that I, I'm not making them feel as if we're, we're judging them, because we're not. So we need to encourage people to put, put the life behind them, but to put the past behind them and, and move forward. There's lots of different things that I like working for Truth, but, but the most important thing is that I'm part of a bigger organisation, I'm part of a bigger team, and that to me is really, really important.